Good morning, children. So today we begin with the root system. We have already discussed about the general structure of the plant body. So today we are going to study in detail regarding the root system. Now, the root system arises from the radical of the embryo, meaning from the seed. Inside the seed, we find the two basic structures. One is a propule and one is a radical. Okay. So the root system arises from the radical. Okay, now that when the radical grows, it gives rise to this main primary root. And then there are many branch roots that arises. So this type of root that develops from the radical directly and is uh, present as a primary root having many branches is termed as the tap root system. There is another root system called the fibrous root system. Okay. This is also present, but here what happens, main primary root that had developed from the tap root, it degenerates. And from the base of the stem, there are many branching roots arising. So now there is no primary root structure in between, in the center here. We only have branch roots that are arising from the base of the stem, that is from this one point. Okay, so this is termed as the fibrous root system. For certain examples of tap root system, we have the beetroot, turnip, mango, neem, rose, all these plants, they have a tap root system. Whereas there are other plants like wheat, rice, all the grains, sugar cane, onion, grass, they all have a fibrous root system. Okay. Now, after the root arises from the radical and spreads in the soil, then what are the different functions that this root do, does? Okay, as I told you that it has many branch roots, it develops many branch roots which spreads in different directions. Okay, and then finer more, there are certain hair-like structures present on this tertiary roots or the branch roots, termed as the root hairs. These root hairs are very fine structures and they are the ones that help the plant to absorb water from the underground water table or from the soil. Okay. Now, that is one major function of these roots that they help in absorption of water and dissolved minerals. Then it also helps to anchor the plant. The complete weight of the plant is based on these roots. Okay, so it helps in anchoring the plant to the soil. Third important function is it prevents soil erosion because just as I told you, it helps to anchor the plant to the soil. There are so many roots that are spreading in different directions and these roots, they bind the soil particles okay, and keep it together. This actually helps the uh, to uh, anchor the plant. Okay. And since it is binding all these soil particles, it also prevents soil load. Now, apart from the main functions that we spoke just now, some modified functions are also performed by the root. Okay. One of which here is to provide nutrition. Now, these that you see are the parasitic roots, okay, developed in the daughter plant. These parasitic roots, they help in extracting the nutrient material okay from the stem of the host plant then we have certain stilt roots which are found in the sugar cane and all corn plants and all now they you can see they're arising from the nodes here and they move down so they provide extra support okay to the plant body some other uh, roots which store food like all these are tap roots that are storing food Carrot, radish, okay, beetroot, turnip, all these plants, they store food. Food storage is also a type of modification. We continue with the modifications. Now we have you can see this. These are climbing roots. So this is a plant, again a weak stemmed plant, just climbing on on the uh, coconut tree. Sometimes you find them, or at some other tree. And these structures that you can see are the climbing roots that help the plant to cling to the support. Okay, there are some climbing roots. Then we also have breathing roots present in the 
mangrove plants. Okay, now mangrove is an area where there are, there is the soil is quite marshy. Okay, so because the soil is so marshy, the soil uh, the roots under the soil are not able to breathe. So these normal roots they give out vertical branches, and on these branches there are some pores. Okay, which help the plant to breathe. So these branches come above the marshy area and therefore the plant can take in oxygen and the roots can breathe. So they are termed as breathing roots. Okay. And for growing new plants, as I told you, there are some roots that store food. Okay. So in that, there after the, uh, when we can uh, take those stored parts and when there are certain buds growing on them, so these buds can give rise to new plants. Okay. So now, this is all with the root system. For homework, you will just list down the modified roots and their functions and also state the other important functions of the root. Okay. We'll get back in the next class with the shoot system.